Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about stamp checklists. In Stamp Manage you can create a, a report which looks very much like a stamp checklist and you will have the stamps you already own uh, already checked for you which is a pretty handy feature I think. Um, so let's take this small collection I created for this purpose of this video and we got some United States airmail stamps so let's create a checklist of airmail United States stamps to do this we're going to right mouse click on the category which is airmail and we're going to select database report using and we'll start off with the stamp checklist now you get the usual where do you want to output the report to you've got many options as usual um, we'll, we'll start off with the preview we're just going to show us a preview of what the report or checklist is going to look like when you actually do print it out. So we click Start. And as you can see here, you've got all the United States Airmail stamps listed, and the ones I already own are already checked. So you can go ahead and print that out, export it to a PDF file, and send it to somebody if you want to. Let's do another example. Now, actually, before I do that, Let's um, let's uh, talk about a checklist. It doesn't have to be for a particular category. It can also be for an entire country. Although obviously, if you're going to uh, print out a checklist for the entire United States, it's going to be a very very large uh, checklist. So let's take a smaller entity. We'll uh, create one for the United Nations, New York. So I'm going to right mouse click. I've selected the entire country there and again database report using stamp checklist output and so it's outputting all the stamps in the stamp managed database from United Nations New York whether they're airmail regular issue whatever down here you got some of the airmail stamps etc so you're gonna, it's going to print out an entire report, which, as you can see here, is 84 pages long. And so, in most cases, you're just, you're just going to choose a category. Now, a second type of report is database report using stamp checklist by year. And when we select that for United States Airmail, it's going to show the checklist, but it's going to be subdivided or grouped by year of issue. And a nice feature here is it has a table of contents. So uh, what you can do is if you want to look at a particular year, you just click on it. So you have 1943. Go back here, 1991. And it's going to show the section of the, of the checklist for that particular year. Again, this report will also work on an entire country as well. Now. The third report is something we just added in the last few days, and uh, if you have Stamp Manage USA or Stamp Manage Canada 2016, you can select Help, Check for Updates, and get the update, which includes this new report. Stamp Manage Deluxe, we're still working on the update for that. It's going to be done uh, uh, a little later in August. So, anyway, the way this report works is. You select database report using checklist with grades owned and what this is going to do is not only does it check the items you have but as you can see here if you zoom in well, let me okay Got a little confused there. Um, so if I zoomed in on, the, on this uh, second page here, and as you can see here, it shows the the grade of each stamp. So uh, let's say you're going to a stamp show and you've got, um, and you know, you'll know that you have the stamp, but you'll also know which grade you have if you want to buy another stamp of, of a better grade. You can would be able to do that as well. Okay. Um, takes care of this video. I want to thank you for watching. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.